Scream Queens, Season 2, Episode 6, Blood Drive Thoughts. So, uh, spoilers for this episode, and all the episodes leading up to it, another episode I love. The top link in the description box will allow you to donate to the Second After Strikers, please do so, it's an extremely important strike. And then there are a bunch of links to videos that help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive in. So, yeah, really love number three explaining how she's gotten really into recycling lately. And, of course, Chanel loves the idea of the blood drive. Just, yeah. And we learn that Ingrid's deceased husband was named Howard. Or, how. As in, how awful. And, yeah, she's actually the sister of Miss Bean. And, yeah, she has a killer line about, you know, only Baltimore cops can, yeah. No, I am not saying that on camera. And, yeah, I really love, you know, nobody respects her. At, you know, she goes up to the podium and, you know, okay, I have something to announce. Haven't you heard of an email? You know, and, and... Number five thinks it's a, there's a employee of the month thing, and, you know, Brock is like, you know, that's, that's fine, just let me know later. It's, it's, and then number five is like, you know, I don't think that someone who's not present should actually count for the, because it's just, wow. And, <clears throat> yeah, she explains about the, the, um, that it is now a contest, the the blood drive, and they'll be going to the the winner will be going to Blood Island, which you know just even from the name, it's like that's not good. You know, it's it's like the people in the show do not realize that this is like a horror thing <clears throat> that they're appearing in. Stuff with blood in the name usually bad and and you know islands in horror movies that are like exotic and such they're usually dangerous just yeah little prick the only one in the room I can assure you and let's see yeah so the the let's see yeah yeah um Brock wants, um, uh, hold on. oh, never mind, I think that's later. Anyway, um, yeah, so number five keeps giving blood, and she's, like, too weak to move, and like, can I have a cookie? No, you can't, you know, orange juice and cook? Yes, please, and Zadie just shuts the door, just, wow. <clears throat> and the, the blood thing is, you know, the, the blood type is explained by Zadie. <clears throat> hmm. So, in order to find out who they can trust, they're going to be testing blood. Ain't that the thing? And... See. Yeah, and, and the... <laughs> Brock wants to let his hand know who's in charge. So he does that thing with the the knife between fingers. Just wow. And and Chanel, is, you know, tries to turn it into something romantic by saying, "Well, I can't control my hands when I'm near you." And then he says, D "You know, I won't. You know, you're gonna have to test for STDs. You know, and it's, it's, there's like nine pages here. Yeah, all two hundred and seventeen known to man, and I really appreciate it. I ended up not writing it down, I don't know why, but one of the tests that she was, you know, she apparently has every STD known to medical science, including male genital warts, or, or some male genital something, which is like, okay, that does not make any sense. Let's see... I mean, I suppose, you know, if she were intersex, but, you know, if that had been the case, that would have come up. Did not mean for that pun. 
certainly Chad has been with her many times and has never mentioned so yeah and and then he says no it's a, it's a compliment that I'm having you tested for STDs <laughs> and you know Hester is standing with a knife over Chanel number one is what are you doing I got bored and yeah so she's going to be working at the hospital for at least a week to see if she can cure the vampire she's, uh yeah I think I know what's going on here you're a douche who thinks you're a vampire but since you're not Brad Pitt or Tom Cruise you just look like Corey Felton <laughs> and I love you know there's a reaction shot of uh, Kathy and she's like oh my god I can't believe I agreed to this. And then we learn that number five has given nine pints in two days. Just holy crap. She really has become like a punching bag in this season. Like every single bad thing that happens to someone that they do survive, there's a pretty good chance that she's the one it's happening to. Let's see. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we get the scene where you know it's revealed she has every STD, and Brock is uh, yeah, and <clears throat> that means that she's not going to you know they're they're not counting the um uh the all the blood that she did get you know and and Chanel is like you know she's like saying Blood Island but crying is like. <laughs> and the slow mo is epic with like big dramatic like music like like church or, or you know religious like scary music kind of thing you know and they run to to get so she, you know Chanel's trying to stop her from taking down the the blood things from the chart from from the yeah uh, uh, board and uh, you know Kathy gets there and grabs them points and laughs and you know Chanel realizes the doctor you know she's like hey. and then she sees Brock is there and she's you know she tries to make herself look good again and you know Kathy is pointing to to Brock like you and me just <laughs> amazing no, no Domino's brings pizza to your house this is nothing like Domino's and let's see. Yeah, and and uh, Hester explains the aversion therapy. So a lot of the blood that they've been, you know, they they they're short on blood at the hospital, and now Hester is going to feed a bunch of it to Brandon. And. Yeah, and we see Chanel steal blood from another blood drive. Just, holy crap, they really do, like, pretty much every awful thing that she is capable of doing, they have her do. Let's see. And I'm here for it. I'm not, this is not a criticism of the show. Uh, you know, I'm aghast at her character. I love the show for making her this awful and yeah and now the 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 blood for the the for for Brandon was really a vampire is going to be Chanel number 1s so just wow and <laughs> and the thing when you know no no exposure therapy it's just a aversion therapy it's just like with blurred lines you know when you first heard it you were like I could hear that a million times then after a while you've heard it so many times that you're like I'd rather marry the singer than listen to it again which oof solid burn that's yeah Let's see yeah and and Chanel number five actually thinks that number one is gonna give her a pedicure like Oh my god, how are you still 
so unaware of who Chanel number one is, but yeah. And yeah, she is not giving any more blood. And you know, Chanel number one is like, you know, in a lifetime you could give way more than you have. And just wow. And yeah, you know, finally uh, number one does manage to compel number nine into donating blood. And, you know, Chanel is like, I know, you know, Jabrak, I know you've been with hundreds of girls. Thousands. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, the green meanie comes for Chanel number nine, who, you know, again, like Chanel number one, there's no limits to how awful she is. Just She just walks off leaving the, just, yeah. And, yeah, uh, Hoffel is going to help Cassidy. And, yeah, he does not know who the second Green Meanie is. So there is still that excellent mystery there. And, yeah, they, they really drain the blood out of number nine and have really really excellent arrangement with the blood bags like it, it looks like a um a painting or something it's just really really you know it wouldn't like imagine if just a bunch of the blood bags were hung up directly in front of each other but no they're like spaced out so just yeah and I, you know, I can't claim that I've seen anything quite like it in another horror production. And <laughs> Kathy runs in. I heard her scream. Oh no, the, the swamp's got to be like 90% dead bodies at this point. Hester, remember, you are in front of a patient. So if your answer is that you killed her for, for blood because you're a serial killer... Say it in code. <laughs> I think you might be a little late for that. And, yeah, you know, uh, Brandon learns that the, the blood was from Chanel number one. He's like, oh, STDs, I'm going to be a social pariah. Um, you already were a social pariah. And, yeah, you know, the, the blood, uh, Hester did test the blood. There were no STDs. And I know someone who's coming with me, and yes, I do mean that as a euphemism. And she refuses to fly because it's not what was it like coach or something? And it's like, no, no, it's okay. I'll just you know, I'll I'll take the money equivalent. Wow. And yeah, Cassidy swaps samples, making it look like Brock is the, the one, and he's like I mean, I'm flattered that you all think I look like a 30-year-old, but, you know, and it is late. I mean, yeah, so so in real life, he's from 1963, so when this episode aired, he was, so that makes him 53, because, like, you know, he was young on Full House, that was, you know, holy crap, that show ran from 86? I thought it was only 19, anyway, yeah, you know, so, <laughs> just... Yeah, there's no way he's the baby. <laughs> and, and you know, I think it's Zayde who's like, well, maybe if... Just, yeah. And Brock does not make himself look particularly innocent when he says, uh, you know, you know, don't, don't deserve to live and there will be consequences. And just, which, which still, you know, doesn't mean he's a serial killer. And <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. The blood pudding. Okay, that was terrible. I regretted it as soon as it came out of my mouth. Let's see. And yeah, there are now three green meanies. And two of them have no idea who the third is. So that's, yeah. I think that might be what I have to say about this episode Let's see. 
Yeah. Um, um, yeah, I think... Yeah, you know, now now that we know a little more about Ingrid, like, we especially know, like, she really has a motive, which, you know, yeah, not completely before, at least to this extent. Oh, pff. according to IMDb Trivia, um, yeah, I'll just read it. There's a scene when Dr. Brock Holt, John Stamos says to Chanel, Emma Roberts, a, you're going to Blood Island alone because I'm still creeped out about those STDs. And two, aren't you a little upset that your friend just got murdered? He also says A and two frequently in Full House. I actually forgot about that, but I can imagine that does sound like, yeah. And oh, the the music when they run down the the hallway, the the slow motion scene was also used in Glee when Sue Sylvester ran down the hallways and let's see. yeah um, right and and apparently you know Taylor Lautner is from 92 not 85 but yeah it it works, in my opinion. He can he can pass. Yeah, that that is it. So yeah, uh, next video will be about the show. Will be sometime next week. So until then, keep screaming, queens. <laughs>